Hey guys, Kim Stretz, Stretz Tactical. So I want to talk about flying with firearms. So firearms, you can fly with them uh, unless you're a uh, police officer or some kind of law enforcement officer. You've been through the flying wall arm training and all of that stuff and it's approved by the job and I think it even comes down to the captain. Uh, so unless you're on official business, you got you to gotta check it. But uh, for most people, yeah, you can bring your, your handguns, your long guns or whatever. And some people get intimidated by the whole process. It's not a big deal. The biggest problem or concern you should have is knowing the laws uh, where you're leaving from, your you know your departure location and your arrival location and any connecting flights. Connecting uh, is a little bit of an issue because uh, I've heard about people uh, getting pinched, i.e. arrested uh, in places like New York City they get a connecting flight, all of a sudden the next flight gets canceled, you're not gonna fly out for the next day, you gotta leave the airport, and you come back the next day, and now you gotta declare your firearm, and it's like, why do you have this handgun here in New York, or whatever, and I've heard about people getting arrested. Do they get thrown out or something later on because there was no intent, maybe, I, I never follow the cases. And I'm not trying to scare everyone, just trying to you know, make you realize that, hey, um, just know your laws. All right. And again, this isn't legal advice. This is just kind of a little bit of a how to. So we're starting off here at home, uh, sitting on the floor in the bedroom and uh, just kind of going to go over it briefly. And, and then I'm going to try and film uh, when I leave Sunday. Um, I'm going to show you what I do at the airport uh, best I can. So when I, uh, I go to the airport armed and in my car, you know, as long as there's nobody around or whatever, that's where I clear out my gun. I lock the, the gun up in the box, uh, put that in my, my suitcase, go in, declare the firearm, uh, and I usually fly out of JFK, so you got a, the ticket agent, you know, you declare it to the ticket agent. They'll call the Port Authority police over, they'll come over, and I've never done this as a civilian, so I don't know, you know, I know there's the Safe Transportation of Firearms Act, um, so if you live in Long Island or upstate New York or something, you don't have a New York City permit, and you're flying out of New York City, um, I would imagine that you could transport your gun through the city, uh, i.e. the airport, um, but I wouldn't, wouldn't know anything about it. I know they come out, they check my police ID, um, they check, you know, serial number of the gun, and notate everything in their memo books, and uh, we take it over to TSA, they, they swab it for explosives, which is kind of funny, but, um, and, and then it gets, it gets taken through uh, the checkpoint from there, and um, you, know, you re reunite with your bag at, at baggage claim uh, when you get to your uh, destination. So let me flip the camera around and show you what I got going All right, on. So what do we got here? This is what I'm going to be using on Sunday. So I'll go to the airport with my gun concealed on me. Um, airports in Queens. I'm a, I'm a police officer in New York, so I can I can do that. If you're so you get a full carry, and it's not valid in New York City, like most. Uh, New York State full carry permits. You better pull over before you cross the, the Westchester Bronx border and uh, unload your gun, put it in the lockbox and all that. Again, not giving you legal advice, just kind of um, something to think about there if you're not law enforcement and you're traveling through uh, New York City. So I go to the parking lot and that's when I clear out my gun. So uh, make sure no one's around. I don't want to get, you know, cause a, a ruckus at the airport because someone sees my gun or whatever. Generally, there's, there's no one around. I get there usually pretty early anyway. So uh, I'll, I'll make my gun clear and safe in the car. So lock it back, you know, mag out, round from the chamber, spare mag, all of that. Um, I'll take the, the holster, I'll secure it uh, in my suitcase here. Obviously, I haven't packed yet. Um, triple check the... Uh, the chamber, magwell, breach face a thousand times, it's good. Um, so I know when I bring it inside and they check it, there's there's not gonna be any issues, the gun is not loaded. Um, so I'll take it, I'll put it in uh, in my little lockbox here. Lockbox doesn't have to be anything crazy. Uh, I think I got this at one of the sporting goods or gun stores, you know, 20 bucks or something. I think it's made by Stackon. Uh, let's see the name on it. I think it's made by Stackon, but there's, Tons of different manufacturers out there. So the ammo that you're supposed to do and versus kind of what I do, the TSA website says either in a strong box. I think it was originally 
or, or solid box, something like that. Uh, we'll, we'll show it to you here in a second, but uh, I think it originally said the original box that the ammo came in or something, like you'd have to save the box, but it looks like they've, I, I, you know, looks like they've recently changed that. Um, that or I just haven't looked at the website in a while. I wanted to look at it before I made this video. So um, something like this is something reloaders would use. Uh, it's caliber specific. This one's nine millimeter. Could you get like a 10 millimeter and then put just about anything in there, any handgun rounds? Yeah, I'm sure you could. Uh, but this one happens to be nine millimeter. What I used to do is sit here and strip down all the rounds, you know, cleaning the rounds in the chamber and, and you know, the two mags and put them in there and then secure that in my uh, in, in my luggage uh, under my clothes. I try to keep everything close to the top because we're going to have to, um, you know, open up the suitcase and show the TSA people and show the Port Authority police, in at least in New York. Every airport is different. Not uh, The only airport that I've been to uh, that makes you check or makes you call the police for them to check is um, JFK. I'm sure LaGuardia and probably Newark, since they're both also patrolled by um, the Port Authority, will probably have the same same thing. But uh, I've been out to, I think it's the airport in Phoenix. I've been out to LAX um, and then McCarran in, in uh, Las Vegas. None of them, you know, you got to declare it, and there might be security personnel who check it somewhere down, down the road. But... Um, I've never had to notify the police in the other, uh, you know, any kind of airport police or whatever in the other places. So uh, I used to, again, just used to put the ammo in those boxes. I was just reading before that if the magazine completely encompasses the ammunition, that you can keep it in your mags. Uh, honestly, without even reading that, I started doing it because nobody ever seemed to really check my ammunition. So uh, I would take the mags and uh, I have these little pockets, zip up pockets throw the mags in there and the loose round from the chamber and that's usually what I would do with them um, so I do that and uh, close and lock the, the thing this is just a you know three code uh, three number code uh, box to unlock it and uh, take the whole thing once it's once it's secured and throw it in the suitcase right so I zip up the suitcase and uh, Go inside, tell a TSA agent, um, or not the TSA agent, the uh, you know agent at the counter hanging to declare a firearm. They'll call Port Authority Police, and they'll give you this form to fill out. This one happens to be from Delta, but they all look pretty much the same. It's a uh, firearms declaration. And when you go to the counter, and I'm, I'm going to try to record this. I don't want to you know, set off any alerts that, hey, this guy's recording at the ticket counter or something. But um, but I'll try to like, stick it in my pocket or something, see if we can record um, the whole thing. But uh, they make you fill this out. Firearms are unloaded. I declare, um, as required by Federal Regulations 49 CFR, blah, 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 that the firearm or firearms, yes, you can bring more than one, being checked as baggage is, are unloaded and packed in a hard-sided locked container. And you can see this one's from when I came back from SHOT Show uh, 2019. So 25 January uh, 2019. And the other side, it just says firearms unloaded. And this gets just put inside the suitcase. Sometimes they'll make you, sorry, my dog is a uh, scout wants to say hi. Um, sometimes they'll make you put this inside the box that the gun is locked inside of. Um, sometimes they'll put a sticker on the outside of your suitcase, which I might've had help from people that go, that's a bad idea. And they may just take it off once it's put on. Um, not a good idea to let the whole world know you're, you know, you got a gun in there. I mean, the, the people handling the luggage, um, I saw this one time, the same guy who takes your bag with your, your guns is the same guy who takes dogs and puts them under the plane uh, as well. So people know that, you know, yeah, they're taking a bag with a firearm in it. So people know about it. Let me turn the camera around real so quick. So a couple of quick stories about that. Um, first time I flew uh, with a firearm, I think is when I went to LA and so did the whole thing with Port Authority at JFK. Got to LAX, got my gun. Uh, first thing I do is I go in the bathroom and un undo the luggage there. You know, I'll go in the stall. Uh, I don't want someone to see me whip out the gun, but just yep, the lockbox is here. Yep, the gun's inside the lockbox, whatever. Um, some places you gotta be careful about like, you know, let's say you decide to load in the bathroom that may or may not be legal at certain places. You may have to wait till you get somewhere else to, to do that. Um, but, uh, you know, take a gun and go on about your way.
did my trip when I returned to LAX to go back to New York. I stopped the port, the, I think it's Los Angeles Airport Police, I think is what they're called. And I was like, hey, uh, I got to declare a firearm. And they're like, well, you don't have to tell us. Just go to the ticket counter. And I'm like, oh, okay, New York's a little different. And they're like, yeah, no problem. I um, hope you get your gun back. And I was like, ooh. And they're like, yeah, there's a lot of larcenies here, and sometimes they steal guns out of luggage. And I'm like, great. Now, that was a number of years ago, maybe 2014, 15, something like that. Um, but, yeah, uh, that didn't get me warm and fuzzy. Another time went down to uh, Rogers Shooting School in Georgia. Um, got to Atlanta Airport, and uh, my bags didn't make it there. And I was there early. I was one of the first few people, um, you know, to get there. Because they tell you to get there an extra hour early if you're declaring a firearm, especially at the New York airports, because you got to wait for Port Authority police. And if you get there at shift change or whatever, uh, you know, where are they coming from? If they're coming from roll call and they didn't want to get their coffee first or whatever, and I'm not knocking them. It's just, that that is what it is. But um, you might have to wait a little bit longer. So add that extra hour. So if they say get there two hours early, I got there three hours early. And that's generally what I do when I fly with a firearm. Um, so... Yep, firearm didn't arrive in Atlanta with me, so I had to wait till next, uh, you know, it, they were putting it on the next plane. And that plane was like 30, 40 minutes behind me, something like that. While we're talking, the guy's like, yeah, we've had some bag thefts here. Uh, he goes, yeah, just recently someone had a, a firearm in their bag and people were just walking right off the street, just kind of how the Atlanta airport is set up. And they would steal bags and one of them had a firearm in it. And... I didn't want to tell the guy I had a, <laughs> had a gun in my bag because uh, that made me nervous enough as it was that that had happened. Um, but just something to keep in mind, your bags could get um, could get stolen. So you are always taking that chance. Now, knock on my wooden head here, um, that, that hasn't happened. Hopefully it'll never happen. And I've flown quite a bit. Um, like I said, I've been out to Arizona, California, California. Uh, Vegas a bunch of times, Atlanta, I'm trying to think where else. So three or four different uh, places in the U.S. And you know, every year I go to SHOT Show, I bring my, my gun out there for the, the last, I don't know how many years. So uh, never had any issues. The other thing you should do is check with whatever airline, go on their website, see what their policies are as well. All right, so real quick, I just pulled up a JFK. Um, get ready to go inside and check in i got here an extra hour early that's what they said an extra hour when you're checking a gun some places will want to you know inspect a gun sometimes they inspect them downstairs here at jfk uh port authority police check them and i'm sure that's probably the way in laguardia and probably uh in newark since those are all patrolled by jfk so just pull my gun out real quick uh, make sure to you know no one's around here I keep the mags loaded. I have ammo boxes, like I, I think I showed in the last video, in case they make me uh, separate it. The website said it had to be in the original container um, and all that. So let me just uh, clear and safe here, pointing in a safe direction. You can't see it on the camera. All right, so and make sure I get my spare mag out of my pocket because uh, we don't want that to happen either. Boom, spare mag, there it is. Um, all right, and I don't want to forget the stuff in the last seat here either. So uh, put that right here. Um, so and I'll throw the holster in the in the suitcase. But uh, yeah, triple check that it is clear and safe, so I don't embarrass myself inside there. It is. So trying to turn the camera down here. So uh, there's the, the blaster, uh, actually goes on the other side here, and just uh, lock it up, and uh, that's it. So I'm going to throw this in my suitcase, uh, I'll throw the mags in there too, uh, and the holster. And uh, I'm gonna go inside and check in. I'm gonna try and video a little bit of it, at least in my pocket, so you can kind of see what it's what it's about. But probably not when the cops come to inspect it. I don't want them to get freaked out. Uh, I might get freaked out if someone's showing me. Um, so that's it. Uh, see you inside. No, I haven't checked in. Um, I have to declare a firearm. Okay. All right. Wait right here. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Uh, I have to declare a firearm. In the bag, not on. Correct. Ammo, ammo separate from the gun. Yep. Uh, upstate police is, is my. Uh, yeah. I know you got a call for thirty PD. I did not. I would have grabbed them. Okay. Not even that. Just say you have to call first. Not even that here. Yeah. Say you have to call first. Oh really? Uh, Vegas. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nacho. Okay. So interesting experience I just had. Uh, checking in uh, at the gate. It was actually pretty quick. Port Authority happened. You know, we, I told them I had a gun. Uh, it was probably like two minutes and Port Authority was there. I just got lucky. Uh, it's one of the things you got to keep in mind. I think they work 12 hour days, like six to six. So at least here at JFK. Uh, and I would imagine the job is the same since it's Port Authority police at, at LaGuardia or um, Newark. So when, the guy was nice, whatever. I said, hey, I got a question. What if uh, you're a concealed carry holder and not a, um, not a police officer, law enforcement officer? I said, oh, you know, you get locked up. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, what about the Safe Transportation of Firearms Act where the gun is unloaded lockbox, just like I have it right here in front of you? And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, then that's okay. He goes, you know, except, like, we ask you, do you, did you drive right here from where you were coming from? Or did you stay in a hotel or something overnight? And if they say they, they made a stop and they stayed here overnight, then we lock them up because you can't have your gun in the city because even if you have a full carry in the outer boroughs, it's no good in New York City. And I was like, wow, you guys are that strict? I mean, it's not like you're gonna know. And he's like, yeah, you know, there's cameras everywhere. And you know, he's worried about liability, which I get, but then don't ask the question and I wanna, say that to him he was pleasant a little little weird um but uh that's yeah, funny i'm watching uh there's like ipads at this uh little restaurant here and one of my favorite pastors joel Olstein, uh they got like a little app for him on here um but uh yeah really you know nice guy and everything uh worried about liability right and he said listen there's people who have a permit and they're declaring it they're not looking to be jerks they're trying to do the right thing but you know what are we going to do and, and again so my my answer is don't don't ask the question you know what i mean but uh and then the other thing uh they walked basically once you, you checked again and i wish i had kept the video rolling but i don't want to do that to another cop uh be recording them uh just because people get weird and what if you you know you say something a little bit unprofessional or joking around and it's it's not worth somebody getting in, in, in trouble because we're all human beings too and cops tend to let their guard down around other cops a little bit so uh i don't want to do that to another cop but um yeah we uh we walked the bag over so you, you they come they look at the serial number they look at your police id or your permit and uh they make note of your serial number and your you know what job you're on sometimes that's your phone number this guy didn't and then you're good to go. You, you uh, sign the uh, declaration form with the airline, stick that. Some places make you put it in a gun box, which is what they did today. Other places you put it in the luggage, uh, just inside the luggage, outside of your gun box. Um, and then they walk you over to TSA. And uh, this time they didn't unlock the bag in the box and swab the gun in the gun box. They do that sometimes. Um, they just scan the bag. Um, and then told me I was good to go and asked for my, you know, my ID and stuff. And then that was it. While we're talking there, the officer also told me that they have a lot of theft here. So I was, I was like, oh man. He goes, well, not so much really the guns because they get put in a separate thing, uh, special security watch container, whatever, something like that. But I have traveled to Atlanta and there's guns been stolen there and LAX and stuff like that. So yeah, it was an interesting thing. And then I forgot to take my belt off. So uh, I set off the, uh, the detector when you stand with your hands up uh, as you're going through security. Um, and uh, they, they searched me pretty good. Uh, they, my belt buckle obviously alerted, so 
they they checked my waistline and, and they were nice about it like hey glove tan back of my hand i'm gonna check you and they went over the the groin area uh you know so they they checked it you know your rear ends um you know unless you had a gun up your butthole um you know and then they swabbed my hands and stuff so they did a pretty good uh job checking uh, when i set it off but so that's it guys um i'd be a little leery as uh, just a regular concealed carry holder non-law enforcement or non-retired law enforcement uh, coming through here uh, print out the safe transportation of firearms act where the guns unloaded don't answer any extra questions or just hey i came right here and uh, i'm going right home i didn't stop in the city overnight because you can tran you know transport your gun through the city if you have a upstate or long island permit you just can't lodge there overnight uh, no stops i don't you know i guess gas if you ran out of gas but i'd be leery of that so just keep that in mind if you're a civilian and you're watching this all right so as i'm editing the video one of the things i uh i realized in my notes was that <sighs> i flew delta which i'll probably never fly delta again they don't you can't like pick your seat online when you get your ticket or whatever it gets assigned at the ticket counter and uh I try to get a, an aisle seat just because if I got to get up to go to the bathroom, I don't want to bother anyone or whatever. I just try to get up and go and, and whatever. So <clears throat> when I asked for the aisle seat, they're like, what's your name? Oh, hey, you're flying armed, right? And they're like, oh, come on up here. And he brought me to <laughs> the head of the line and I boarded the plane first. Uh, I, I did say, no, I'm not flying armed. I have a, a gun in my suitcase, but um, it's not a gun in my pocket. I'm just happy to see you. Um, no, but uh, they knew by, you know, just looking at my name in the in the computer that there was a gun attached to my name. So, you know, people know. So, again, just to reinforce that if you carry, a, you know, if you fly with a gun, people know that, you know, you have a gun or your name has a gun and there's a gun on the plane. So that means baggage handlers, etc. So people know it's not like it's a secret. So just keep that in mind. So after waiting for all the bags to come off the baggage carousel, I grabbed someone, apparently Delta at McCarran, takes yours to the office and you got a show ID. Never did that before, even with Delta. Just got it and they zip tie it. You can't take the zip tie off until they leave the I said to wait till I got out to the rental car. I was able to borrow some snips to cut the thing off. And uh, I'm gonna go to Sig Range Day. All right, so I'm getting ready to head back to the uh, back to New York uh, I'm gonna clear out here in a hotel room uh, one of the things I found out uh, on the way out by keeping the mags loaded and in my uh, suitcase is rounds were popping out and unfortunately I kept them in a little pocket zipped up pocket in the luggage but still rounds popped out so I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything back in here it's kind of what they want you to do anyway so uh, do that throw everything in my luggage now uh, since I'm not taking my own vehicle I'm taking a um, uber to the airport and uh so i kind of got got to get rid of it now so uh that's that's that and uh i'll uh, show you what happens in in the uh, mccary airport all right so note to self right uh I'll turn the camera around here it's uh 2 55 in the morning at mccarran flights at six Normally um, they say get here two hours early, and if you're uh, checking a firearm, add an extra hour. Uh, apparently at McCarran, they don't open up until 5, 5.30, the guy said, so uh, it just complicates it. So there were complications when you, when you travel with your gun. All right, so I just checked in, declared my item, and uh, here at McCarran, they make you wait 15 minutes in case there's any issues or whatever before... Uh, they want you to board it's not like they physically hold you here but they'll call your name if they need you so got to hang out for 15 minutes and uh, they don't call my name then i go through tsa all right so real quick i'm in the parking lot uh they told me mccarran i'd have to report to the office at jfk to pick up my luggage as you can see zip ties i don't have anything to cut it with they didn't want to give me anything there they don't want you opening it there which sucks because uh you want to make sure it's in there. Who the fuck zip tied it, you know? Um, anyway, so I'm going to cut it open when I get a chance and make sure it's in there. All right, guys. So uh, that's the video. 
I've flown a ton of times, 15, 20 times, you know, with a gun. Every airport's a little bit different. Each airline's a little different. New York is its own animal. Be super careful if you're a civilian, uh, possibly even retired law enforcement. Make sure you got the uh, Safe Transportation of Firearms Act printed and bring it with you. Make sure you don't travel into the city with your loaded and concealed gun. Gun locked and separate. Again, I am not a lawyer. Do all your own research. This is just kind of like an FYI and, and do your own research. It gives you somewhere to go from. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments, shoot me a DM or, you know, hit me up uh, through my website and I'd be glad to help you guys out. But again, can't give legal advice. I'm not a lawyer. Stay safe, stay armed, train hard. I'll see you on the range.